While I was at the store the other day, uh, there was a little grab bag for free and, uh, and a bag here, and this is what was in it. I've already thrown away some of the stuff, but um, just odds and ends, sweep, sweeping the floor. <laughs> uh, looks like there's some 2N221s. Two two, two two It'd be interesting to see what the difference is between a 2221 and a 2222 is, so maybe I'll do a video on that. Uh, there's just some resistors and stuff. Uh, some stick-on feet. As long as the stick on still good. They go bad after a while, the sticky sticky to go bad after a while. There's some optocouplers. We might do a video of the day on those. And then there was a bunch of these guys, which I thought, oh, they're like I don't know, 3904s or something or other like that, you know? And then I looked at the part number and I didn't I didn't recognize the part number. It was weird. Um, it didn't make any sense to me. Just a, uh, it looked like it might be a five volt regulator or something, like a low voltage regulator, because it has a it has a 1Z 5.0 on it. It has a 4040B. I don't know what that means. And then there's a National Semiconductor logo on it and then a date code. So I really didn't know what these were. So whenever I didn't know what, whenever, oh, can't talk today. Whenever I don't know what something is, I use my little tester here. I did a video on this. Uh, let's see here. Let's pop him in. Push the button. And he says it's a, Diode. <laughs> okay. Four voltage, 0.8 volts. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It's a diode. That's weird. All right. Well, maybe it's some kind of weird device this thing doesn't, doesn't understand. So, um, I thought, well, if it's a diode, let me, let me, let me use a diode checker and see what, what kind of diode it is. Okay. So I, I have a real fancy diode checker. Let's go use it. All right, uh, this is my curve tracer, and it's a uh, Tectronics 576. Did a bunch of videos of me repairing this thing. Um, so I put in the uh, put in the diode, and we will check it over here. All right, sorry, this thing's really hard to photograph. Um, I, I've turned out the room light, so with the room lights on, it's it's all blown out. So I'm going to try to let me see if I can. Change the cameras a little bit here, lower the intensity of the spot. So, uh, oh, there we go. See, it's, uh, it's acting like a diode, right? So this is zero and I'm sweeping in both directions. I'm doing an AC sweep. So we're at horizontally, we're at um, one volt per division. Okay, so we can, oops, wrong knob. We can change that. So here's 200, 200 so it's two, four, can I turn up the illumination here? Uh, I don't think this works. Oh, it does a little bit. Can you see that better? I don't know. It's really hard to see. Really hard to photograph, sorry. Well, this is probably a little bit better. So anyway, two, four, six, seven, eight. About seven and a half, 0.75 volts in that direction. Uh, I'll go back to one volt per, one volt per division, and you can see here, we're breaking down in the reverse direction, okay? So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then it breaks down. So it's acting like a, a five volt Zener diode and a really nice one. I mean, Zener diodes usually don't break this fast. This is like straight up and down. Uh, so very, very nice. Let's see if we can get a better picture of that. Uh, let's see here, let's go to P and P. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, really nice. Let's see if we can Get some better, yeah. It breaks over with a funny little thing at the top there too. It goes, it overshoots just a tiny little bit and then it goes straight, straight down. Look how straight down that is. Let's see, we're at one milliamp per one, two, three, four, five milliamps. Let's go a little bit farther here. We'll go five, 10, 15 milliamps. Yeah, it's, it's just straight up and down. It's very, very nice. So there must be some kind of magic in this diode. So let's, uh. Let's go find the data sheet. Okay, this turns out to be an LM4040. So it didn't say LM on the part, it just said 4040. So, but it's an LM4040 precision micropower shunt voltage reference. So they draw it, oops, see down here. They draw it as a Zener diode and it looks just like a Zener diode. You put a resistor on it and you get a voltage out and all that kind of stuff. So looks just like a Zener diode. Uh, let's see what the claim to fame here is. Fixed outputs, you can get it at various outputs. This is the five volt version. Uh, tight tolerances, 
um, 0.1%, um, A grade, B grade, I guess we have a B grade, so it's 0.2%, very nice. Um, 35 microvolts RMS noise, white operating current range up to 15 milliamps, stable with all capacitive loads, blah, 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 you can use it for anything, it says. <laughs> all right. Uh, it says B grade, 2%, 0.2% initial accuracy, and then 100 ppm per degree C. Uh, yeah. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, characteristics. Let's see here. There's breakdown test. This is for a different one. Uh, these are for, these are for the wrong parts. Let's get a five volt part. Where's a five volt part? Here's a five volt part. Let's do this one. Okay, so five volt breakdown at a test, they, they tested at 100 microamps. It's good to plus or minus 25 millivolts. Uh, maximum current, maximum cathode current, 65 microamps. Then they test the temperature coefficient at 10 milliamps, 30 ppm. Breakdown, wideband noise, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool part. Um, I don't exactly know what's inside. They really don't say. I mean, it's not exactly a zener. It's like a buffered zener. Um, two pin uh, uses a, uses fuse and zener zap reverse breakdown voltage trim during wafer sort. So it's a sorted part with fuses where they can cut things, trim them, uh, has a reverse breakdown trim during wafer sort to offer four voltage tolerances. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a magic diode. <laughs> I think there's a little more going to that in there. There's probably some more magic in there they don't want to talk about, but uh, yeah, it's a real fancy zener. So good score. And I got, uh, I got quite a bit of them, so that's great. Oh, and the one in my uh, curve tracer. Put that one back in. Yeah, nice. Okay, that was chip of the day, an LM4040. Never heard of it before.